Hey y'all, what's up? What I want to tell y'all today is that you are going to have to really get um, comfortable with forgiveness and letting go. Because you can forgive, but then carry the pain, the frustration, the resentment, and the trauma of it within you. So you're going to have to learn how to forgive and take that next step and let it go. And God is the only way that you can do that, I believe. Now, maybe people have their own, you know, their own other remedies and stuff like that. But I, for me, it was God because it's going to be some things that you have to let go that is going to hurt. It's going to hurt you bad. It's going to make you feel real sad it's gonna make you feel broken you're gonna even think like maybe i should have never let it go but when something is toxic in your life when something is keeping you away from your true self and that true self is a child of god and you are great and you are worthy and you have already been validated through him but when whatever it is that is keeping you away from God and being aligned to receive the abundance of who he is, the emotional aspects of him, the mental aspects of him, the physical aspects of him, you are going to have to let it go. Letting go is just so powerful. And what you let go, it will try to fight to stay. But you have to constantly fill your mind up with wisdom, with knowledge, and get the understanding of why you had to let it go. And sometimes you may not even get the understanding. It's just that it's keeping you from you. It's keeping you from becoming what you were created to be. And it could be anything. It could be people. It could be environments. It can be ways of thinking. It could be beliefs. It could be so many things that you have to let go. You have to let it go and it will hurt because when you let go, you realize how much how much attachment it really had on you. And but in that moment of really genuinely letting it go, you will allow God to come in and fill that with his love and with his joy and with his purpose and with his wisdom and with his truth and with his faithfulness. Like you will allow God to resonate and live and reside within you. So just get used to letting stuff go, y'all. Letting stuff go. And it's it's tough. And in these moments of letting go, it really will make you realize how little strength you have and how you have to depend on God because you will have to let go some things that it was so ingrained in you that now you don't even really know who you are. Like you have to go to God to give you a new identity so you won't attach yourself to something else that that looks that's just like what you let go, but it's it looks different. It may not be a person, but now it's a substance. Or it may not be a substance, but it's a habit or it's a behavior or it's just um beliefs. So, truth is what you have to have. You have to get to a place where you can be brutally truthful to yourself. You have to be able to say, I'm desperate. Or I'm doing this because I'm lonely. Or I'm acting out of fear. Or I'm holding a grudge. Or I'm being resentful. Or I'm envious. You have to look at yourself because we all want to see ourselves perfect and pretty and just everything good. But in like truth be told, we fall short and you know, we missing some pieces and some pieces that we do have is a little bit off. That's why, you know, allowing God to come in your life and purge your heart and creating you a new heart and renew the spirit of your mind. It will give you a better understanding of who you are and what you mean and what you represent in God. So just get used to letting go. And that letting go may require you to forgive. Forgive yourself, forgive others, but you have to move 
on and you have to let go because not letting go is like waking up every morning putting a pebble in your book sack and walking around with that walking around every morning you putting another pebble now in the beginning it may not feel like nothing mm, i could carry it but after 200 days in the year that stuff is going to start wearing, wearing weighing you down and making your knees buckle and now it's going to be heavy and you're going to be you're going to start to feel the weight of it so you have to get to a place where you have a healthy way of um detoxifying your body you know how we all want to i'm gonna I'm gonna, i gotta get the toxins out of my body well you need to find a way create a way to get the toxins out of your mind meaning you have to learn new things you have to add wisdom you got to get more wisdom you need to read read the word read books uh quotes just get positive words to churn that mind when if, if it's your heart that's heavy you have to get Add love. Allow God to come in and love you and really like purge that heart. You know, your spirit, if your spirit is unclean, you have to allow God. So that's why God want, God want the most important parts of us, our mind, our heart, and our spirit, because those things have value. That's the valuable part. It's not this body. It's the stuff that's in it. So purging your body, letting go things. And the first step to letting go is forgiveness. And then forgiveness, when you forgive, it'll leave a crack for God to get in. And he can feel it because when you begin to forgive and you begin to let go of this stuff that's not of you, then it leaves space. But you don't want to fill it with other toxic things, like I said before. So allow God to purge you and to fill you. But it's going to take consistency. It's going to take you to do. It's going to take you to surrender. It's going to take you to have faith. It's going to take the doing. The doing. So what I want y'all to get from this, you have to learn to let go. Don't be a pain hoarder. Like you just hoard in pain and you hoard in worry and you hoard in uh, resentment or you hoard in unforgiveness. Like don't hoard those, those ungodly things on the inside of you because you will be able to walk around for a little bit with it, but eventually you will break. You will, it will be too much for you to carry. And we want to live our best selves on this earth. We want to be the best us, the best us we can be because that's what God created us to be. Like we supposed to reach for the stars, reach for the heavens. Like we supposed to be reaching high. We supposed to be jumping off the cliff of faith and allowing God to catch us and to help us soar. So I love y'all so much, but let go because strength is not based on how much you can carry. Sometimes strength is based on how much you can let go. So I love y'all so much and I will talk to y'all next time. Mwah.